Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will learn about a very important component used in motion control and servo systems. This is resolver. What is resolver and how it work? So let's break it down simply and practically. Let's get started. You can see the picture in here. What is resolver? A resolver is an electromechanical position sensor that looks like a small motor. You can see it's used to measure the angular position and the sometimes the speed to rotating shaft. You can see the picture in here. So this is the what actually happened inside the circuit in the resolver. This is the excitation coil, sine coil and cosine coil. Two is output, one is single input. You can see the, the resolver principle, the rotor and a stator. Stator has to signal. You can see this is the how to check the resolver OK or not beside or the correct value. So you can see the resolver stator and resolver rotor. I am just give you the picture in here. So and the stator coil must have the sine plus and sine minus equal to 1 to 4 volt, cos plus and cos minus equal to 1 to 4 volt must have. Also, it's to have two output sine and cos, and the primary coil have must have the excitation plus and excitation minus. It also have the six to eight volt. The mentioned signal is here. You can see the excitation plus excitation minus sine plus sine minus and cos plus cos minus equal to voltage beside the AC RMS value. All the voltage is AC. You must have to remember that the all voltage in here, used in here the RMS. AC voltage. The resolver is stated to resolver card communications. There is the resolver have six cable to connect directly to the communication cable. This is the resolver card fixing position in the servo drive. This card must have to fix in the servo resolver drive. You can see the resolver running conditions. It means the acceleration plus and acceleration minus is equal to 8 volt, sine plus sine minus 1.1 to 4 volt. You, you must have. This is the resolver pin connection diagram. Extension plus extension minus have which pin you have to connect. There is a details in here. The resolver running conditions measures the actual voltage in here. You must have to check the, all the things. This is the acceleration coil oscillator and the push pull output stage. You can see this is the clear expression. And this is the wiring color code in here. This is the most important thing. This is the resolver running time, the signal line, uh, like this sine signal wave and the cos signal wave. It's, it's most important. You can see the measuring voltage of the resolver, excitation plus, excitation plus, excitation minus, sine plus, sine minus, and uh, cos plus and cos minus. The voltage is the you look the meter. You must have to check the voltage like this. So this is the servo running condition, full condition, fully running conditions. You can see the step two is missed already, and five is equal to the fully running conditions. You can see the display in keypad, fully running. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video.